you're too old to get started. How many of you have heard that before? You know, it's interesting, this morning I read an article and it talked about the founder of McDonald's, Ray Kroc, and Ray Kroc actually bought the whole franchise or created the whole McDonald's franchise um, you know, in his 50s. So I wanna give this message to all of you because you know, a lot of people always have this self-talk, these little voices that, oh, I'm too old for this, or you know, I'm not smart enough, I'm not intelligent enough, or, you know, I'm not tall enough, not good looking enough. The key to creating success is really just finding, you know, your passion and your purpose and really, um, you know, doubling down on it. And I think too many people, we have these little voices that stop us from doing things. You know, certainly for me, when, you know, when I first started, um, you know, often entrepreneurship, I said, yeah, I can't do this, I'm dyslexic. So if you ever see any of my posts, there's always like grammatical errors and spelling mistakes in there. But, you know, it's not, it's, it's not always about, you know, being intelligent. You know, what I realize is sometimes intelligence actually stops you from creating more success because you're overthinking it. And I think a lot of times people, you know, we, we overcomplicate things, we overthink things. How many of you I'm talking about? Give me a yes. Give me a yes below if you, if you know what I'm talking about. So I wanted to just film this message for all of you who, and this is for all of you who have messages in your head, little voices that say you can't do things, little voices that say that it's impossible for you to achieve things. And, you know, I... It, when I was at school, I, I, I had, you know, I'm dyslexic. So, you know, I read an article today from Richard Branson saying that dyslexia is actually his superpower. So sometimes it's the perspective of how we see things. The perspective is, you know, it's kind of like that story of when um, that company sends someone to India and, you know, you know, they sell shoes and then they always say, you know, what's the opportunity when they come back and say, well, there's no opportunity. So why? Because no one over there wears shoes. And so they don't pursue the opportunity. And then there's that second uh, person who gets sent to that, you know, country and and when they come back, you know, the person asks them, you know, what's the opportunity? Say, oh my God, it's an incredible opportunity. Why? Because no one over there wears shoes. So it's the perspective of how you're able to um, see things and achieve things, but also to make sure that you just got to give it a try. You know, I can tell you when I first started in entrepreneurship and in business, like I didn't know if I was going to make it or not, but I, at least I tried. And I think that's one thing that we can do is, is at least try and, and and give it a shot. You know, what's that saying, Wayne Gretzky? Like you miss 100% of the shots that you do not take. And so now we're moving into this whole era of, you know, the, the economy's crazy right now. There's interesting things happening in the world that are causing a lot of chaos. Um, but that's good news because in, in, in chaos, in Chinese, we have this word called weiji, right? And weiji stands for you know, um, chaos, and but they're made up of two characters. One character is danger, the other one is opportunity. It means every crisis is always an opportunity. So I invite you to explore those opportunities. I invite you and I challenge you to pursue what you've always wanted to do. Um, and the question is, if you could not fail, what would you be doing? Let me know below, by the way. I'd, I'd love to hear some of your comments and shares on this. And by the way, if you love this, do make sure that you subscribe to the channel, make sure you follow uh, and also share this, like copy the link and share it with your friends on WhatsApp. And because I just think everyone needs to hear this message. So, and also I'll link some videos here and I'll link some videos here as well. So let me know what you think and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.